So this is a math problem that went, that went viral last June, so June of 2016. Um, it was floating around the internet and people were wondering how do you find the perimeter of these two composite rectilinear shapes, okay? So I'm gonna step out of the way, I want you to press pause and I want you to give it a shot yourself. And once you've tried it yourself, uh, press play again and see how it's done. Okay, so let's take a first a look at this first one. Now, the first thing you need to know, in, in case you're not sure what rectilinear means, it basically means that all of the, when the sides come together, they form a right angle. So that's important for us to know because I did draw these freehand. So if anything looks slightly off, just assume it's a straight line. That's what it's supposed to be. Um, okay, so we need to know the perimeter of this shape right here. So we know this side's 12, this side's 10. Well, how do we find, you know, this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece? Okay, that's usually how you're taught to find perimeter, right? Well, I want you to take a second look at this, okay? So I'm asking you, what if we took this piece right here and we moved it over here, okay? So I'm gonna pick another color. I'll take bright orange so you can really see this, okay? So what I'm talking about is taking that piece right there, okay? I think it's showing up nicely. And we just literally move it over here. So instead we move it over here, okay? Good. Now, what if we take this piece and we move it up here? So again, we're not compromising the length, it's staying the same length and we're just moving it from here to here, okay? So again, let me use, I'll use blue because it looked like that orange may not have come out super well, okay? So this is the piece I'm talking about down here and I'm moving it up here, okay? I want you to think about that for a second. If we've taken this orange piece and we've just moved it here, we have kept this length the same as the other side, right? It hasn't changed. This is going to be 12 centimeters. Okay, and the reason for that is this piece down here plus this piece that we move together is the same length as that, as this side over here. Same thing happened down here. We took this piece and we just moved it up here, okay? And therefore this top piece right here is also going to be 10 centimeters, okay? Because it's the same length. So all we did was, you could think about it, you could create any type of uh, composite rectilinear shape yourself by starting out with a rectangle and then just moving pieces in and down and then you've created a new shape but it's going to have the same perimeter as a rectangle that is 12 by 10 okay so again just think about what I did all I did was I pushed this over and I pushed this up and I so then therefore what you have to think about is the 10 is coming from this piece here and this piece here and the 12 is coming from this piece here and this piece here okay so now the perimeter is super easy it's just going to be 12 plus 10 plus 12 plus 10 so that's going to be 44 so 44 centimeters will be the answer Okay, so let's try this next one, which is a little more complicated, okay? So I wanna take the same approach that we took on this one. So again, we've got this side is 11 centimeters, this is nine, and the two is referring to this piece right here, okay? It's not referring to this top piece, it's not referring to obviously that long piece, and it's not referring to this. It's this piece right here. So what if we took the same approach, okay? So again, I'll try red this time and see if that's easier to see. So we know this is nice. Let's think about this side down here. What if we took this and then this piece and then this piece, okay? So we take these two pieces and we move them down. Boom, boom. We're gonna end up with nine centimeters down here, okay? So again, all we did, it's that same concept of just moving this piece down, moving this piece down. So this plus this plus this. And again, this works because these are all right angles, okay? These are all right angles. Okay, so we can just move that down and that down. So if we're thinking about coming across, 
We've got, like, if this were on graph paper, for example, it'd be really, actually, it'd be really good if this were done on graph paper. You'd be able to see it nicely. So then you can um, just measure that plus that plus this is going to be the 9 centimeters. Now, the hard part is the 11, and this is why this is hard, okay? I'm going to go back with blue because I think blue is a nice contrasting color. We've got this piece right here, okay? Well, then we're pulling this, this 2 out. And we're also pulling this out, but notice the overlap. So actually, I'm going to use different colors so you can see that. So here's part of this left-hand side, okay? Then I'll go to uh, orange, maybe. I think that'll be better than brown, okay? Then you take this piece right here, the two centimeters that we know, and you move it over, okay? And then I'll try purple for this bigger piece here. Then we're gonna take this bigger piece right here, I'm gonna put it in purple, okay? And we're gonna move it all the way over, okay? So now what we notice is that from here to here is 11, okay? But what you need to see is right in this area, so I'll use brown, right in this area here, you have an overlap. You have part of a blue, an orange and a purple. So you are essentially triple counting something. So it's counted once here and then again and then again, okay? So what we have to know is that we need to add that to the total perimeter. So this is what I want you to think about here. This is nine, this is 11, this is nine. So then this is 11, okay? But again, we also have to add on, if we, if we take the 11 as the purple line and then this part of the blue line, Okay, so this purple line and then this part of the blue line, we need to realize that this right here, blue and orange, need to be counted as well. Okay, the blue being this part of this side and the orange being this piece right here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to do 2 plus 2, okay, because that's the length of the orange and then that part of the length of the blue. Okay, then plus 11 for this side plus 9 for this side, plus 11 for that side, and plus 9 for the top. So that's again going to be, so this is 20, 40, 4. Okay? There you go.